What up, y'all? It's your man Wayne Train back with another joint. Today I got an unboxing of the 17 inch Razer laptop. Let's get it. Now, if y'all know why I be, I go by the name Wayne Train. Uh, my, my, my government, my government my government do anybody actually say government like the way it's spelled or government government all right that was a hot moment <laughs> but um now nah, my real name is Dwayne man you can search it up at the top if you uh care to look for your boy but we do tech videos over here tech uh unboxings like this one uh tech news discussions tech talks all kinds of stuff so if that's something that interests you please consider subscribing to your boy but now, um, I got the Razer 17-inch laptop. So um, I've been on the hunt for a good laptop for a minute now. And uh, let's actually rewind uh, a little bit. So I actually made a video about this laptop. I had it like probably last month. <laughs> so I got it right before... Um, I got it during the holiday season and everything because it had in, like crazy good a crazy good deal in this one. So and we'll talk about that in a second. But um, I had it; it was damaged, and I sent it back. And um, a, like, let me see. So, just a forewarning: like if you do get a Razer product, you have to deal with the customer service. Just be prepared; it is not the best. They do, you know, for the most part, you know, answer your questions and whatnot. But it was a hassle to get my laptop back in a um, in a uh, timely manner. I did the RMA like the middle of December, and I just got my laptop back like just now. And it was all because apparently, like, they were out of stock at the warehouse that's housed in the states where they do the replacement so if you do have to replace a device just know that it's coming from the states if you order a new device it would be shipped from china straight from hong kong or whatever so uh like i said so long story short i had this laptop already i did the video but i decided to scratch it and just start all over so i opted for the 2070 max q version 17 inch uh full screen a uh, full hd 144 hertz, 512 gigabytes of storage. I decided to get a laptop mainly because the the whole tablet as my main, you know, uh, travel or mobile um, option wasn't really working too well for me. And, you know, I just need that keyboard and um, just a little bit more power, I guess. And, um, you know, a laptop does all that stuff for you. You know, I don't get the the full SD card support for a lot from a lot of laptops, which was a big a big thing when it came to me deciding which laptop I wanted. I needed a full size SD card slot, so that's what we got here in the 17 inch. Unlike the 15 inch, which you don't get that, and yeah, sorry about that. But man, so the unboxing unboxing experience here is just it's top notch, next level. I love Razer for this. They it's very Apple esque for the most part. And let's go ahead. Yes, there's the laptop, and here is all the cables. I believe that's your power brick. I believe it's a 70 watt hour power brick. Um, I'm not gonna sit like so. Before I get fully into this, this I'm not a I'm not a computer head. I, you can go go to Jay's Two Cents or Linus or any of them big dudes if you want some real raw, um, you know, nerdy. Let me stop saying nerdy because I'm a nerd. Um, real technical stuff about laptops. I don't know anything about computers. I I, I try to get a degree in computer science and. I gave up because the math was too difficult. So 
I want to actually do learn, I do want to learn more on the hardware side of things when it comes to, you know, computers and stuff, which is why I did um, attempt or, you know, build my own PC. Um, but it's not the hardest thing in the world. Many people can do it, especially with, you know, videos and a lot of, um, there's a lot of help out there these days. So it was made easy for me to do this. But um, like I say, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not with it like that. I don't know it like that. I would love to learn it like that but you know only time will tell so again this is a 17 inch this mug is pretty heavy i wish i had a scale so i can see exactly how much this thing weighs so we got what looks to be um we got cleaning cloth some stuff in here what is this is this some stickers or something yeah you got your, your holographic stickers you got some authenticity warranty stuff here, it looks like. So we'll go ahead and put that back. Part of the brick here. I like this, it's got like a little belt thing so you can roll these cords up. But this is a big brick um, to carry around, so do keep that in mind. Here we are, a weird propri proprietary kind of attachment for the charger. So, but let's see. Yeah. Smoke cold as ice. So we got this matte black, lovely finish right here. Yeah, so you got the, there's no uh, keyboard lift, you know, just straight up and down. As you can see over there in the top corner there, I don't know if you can, 17.3 inches, 1080p, 144 hertz. Got this little protective cover over here. We'll move that out the way. And bam. Uh, RTX 2070 Max Q, 8 gigs of DDR4 or DDR, DDR6 VRAM. That's on a GPU, 9th gen Intel Core processor, i7. Um, it's a 6 core processor. Clocked at 4.5 gigahertz. Look at this joint here. Got two big speaker grills here. These these mugs do sound really good. I remember uh, when I did initially unbox them. Uh, they sound pretty dope. Um, let me go ahead and pull this sticker. Two USB-C ports here. I believe it's Ethernet port. Your charging uh, port. Uh, headphone jack. USB-C port right there. Other side. That SD card slot right there, another USB-C port, another USB, uh, standard USB and HDMI port, and what is this, that Kensington lock thing that I probably won't ever use. Um, it does support uh, Windows Hello for unlocking, um, but I, I'm gonna buy this little, this little doohickey kind of thingy, uh, USB dongle for um, a fingerprint. So we'll see how that works when I order it up and we'll, we'll test it out. But like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video for a second, get everything set up, and then we'll be right back with it. All right, y'all, man, so we back with it. Got everything all hooked up and set up, and man, I love this thing already. You know, I'm a sucker for, the, for like any design. I just love a good design, laptop and product, anything it is, I like, I like this, it's just a nice, build quality is complete unibody it reminds me a lot about a lot of uh, MacBook MacBook Pros which was the last like laptop I really had and it was a 17 inch the 2012 MacBook but um, check this out got the uh, D brand skin wanted to eliminate that extra gamer look a little bit just kind of wanted to make it a little bit more minimalistic and uh, I do like that though this is dope got that black dragon skin um, let's go ahead and check out this Windows Hello right quick since we're getting back in. Okay, where are we at? Looking for me, there we go. All right, so you can see it was kind of a struggle to find me, but that's because of the lighting situation I have down here. Um, when I'm up close to my laptop, it's really hard for it to find me, but that infrared sensor does help a lot, um, if you can tell. There's a little sensor right there, but 
Yeah, so that helps out with the windows, hello. Um, but, you know, if you're in a good situation, a good lighting situation, it should work just fine. Now, I wanted to start off with a few things that I like and dislike. So as far as the things that I dislike, the webcam is probably the top of the list there. I just cannot stand this webcam. It's, it's like a waste of space, so to speak. But I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and we're going to check it out. I had, uh, I think I deleted it, but yeah, so just, just look at that. Like, look at the quality. I'm recording right now, 720p, pretty much unusable, you know, especially when you got smartphones today that just do, that blow it out the water. 4K in the front on, like, almost all the cameras today, so let's go ahead and play that back. Quality. I'm recording right now, 720p, pretty much unusable. Know, especially when you got smartphones today that just do that blow it out the water 4k in the front unlike almost all the cameras today so so yeah i mean it is what it is but um while i do like the design of this laptop it is pretty much a fingerprint magnet um all across the board but you know i guess the good thing about that is that it reminds me that my laptop is dirty so i should clean it um, no hiding anything there. You know, if you see it's dirty, it's dirty. You can't really get around that. Um, and lastly, one of the things I dislike is probably going to be the battery. While most cases I'm going to always have my charger with me, um, it does have a 70 watt hour battery, but they have the big, the funny thing is they have the 80 watt and the 15 inch, which is kind of messed up in my opinion, but um, it is what it is though. So I'm not, again, some of the things that I dislike about this thing, I'm not really. They're not make it or break it deals for me, but again, it just has to be mentioned. But as far as things that I do like though, I like the size, the 17 inch aspect of this thing. I love big laptops and just the ports and IO and just the options that you have with this thing is endless. It's really what a laptop should be. You have all your ports, you got your SD card, you got uh, USB-C ports, you got everything that you need. Um, you also got Wi-Fi 6 on this thing. I don't know how many devices there are that feature Wi-Fi 6, but this is one of them. And the display, you know, uh, what is it, 100% sRGB. Um, I guess it's calibrated for all the people that, you know, want a good, accurate color, uh, colored screen or whatever. I'm not really into that stuff. My girlfriend does, like, the photography side, so she'll be doing that kind of thing. But me, I don't do a lot of color grading or anything, so... It is what it is, but it has to be mentioned. It's a good, it's good to have all that stuff. So let's get real quick into the Synapse app real fast. Um, I'm not really familiar too much with this like app, but I'm getting used to it. Some of the people that I've watched that do right, like did like the review on this laptop say they cannot stand this app, but I'm gonna learn it first before I like start just you know jumping on the bandwagon of hate the hate train or anything. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. You know, it controls all the lighting and all the chrome and all the chroma features and the, you know, the effects that you get from your uh, RGB lighting. And I believe it does a few other like performance features in here, but I got, you know, go in and do some more in-depth testing and stuff of it. But now let's go ahead and uh, talk about this trackpad, man. So if you have used a MacBook in the past, you will find that that's probably the best like trackpad that you could find. Uh, the next is probably gonna be this joint. So you get you get features, like unlike some, you get the three finger swipe to change your apps, you know, up and down. You know, you can do four fingers on here to um, increase your volume. Um, and that's all, like, that's all, oops. You can change all that. Okay, that's, that's what I don't. Okay, there we go. Looks like it wasn't registering the fourth finger sometimes, so. You know, that I like that though. You can change all that stuff. It's kind of dope. And what else? Let's go up in here into the. I got a video here. We could test out these speakers real fast. I don't know who I be. I go by the name Wayne Train. I do tech videos. Um, <laughs> um, actually, let's 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 go ahead and um, let's get that right here. All right, so. So let me know what you think about those audio, the, uh, the audio there. I like that. The I like the speakers. They're pretty dope. They're pretty loud, for the most part. Um, nothing like mind blowing, but they do the job pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys check out the sound of this keyboard, though, since people like to hear how click sound. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. 
So you let me know what you guys think about that. Um, for me, nothing crazy different than what I've tried on other laptops. Um, the layout, I guess, is okay. I'm o I mean, I haven't ran into many issues yet, but I haven't done a, lot, a whole lot of typing yet, so we'll see how that goes in the future. And rounding everything off, we'll talk about the price. So I got this thing for a pretty good deal around Black Friday, four or $500 off. But I think now is an even better deal. Um, 2070 Max-Q, same model I got right here, $2,300. You can uh, spec that up a little bit more, but that's when the discount's gonna like start to disappear. So just kind of keep it in this range of like the laptop right in the middle ground. You'll get the most, the best deal. And I would suggest this to like somebody who's into a high-end or in the market for a high-end gaming laptop. And because um, I think you get a lot of bang for your buck for that price. Most laptops that offer all this are just going to be like upwards of 3000 bucks anyway. But, you know, being able to upgrade your RAM and storage and all that stuff, you know, that plays a part in the price. So bang for your buck right there. I love that about this Razer Blade Pro 17 inch uh, laptop. So like I said, man, let me uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me shoot. Let Hit me up in the comments below, man. Let me know what you think about this laptop. Um, I got to get up out of here, man. I'm, I'm up late. It's like 1 o'clock right now. So, and I got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, anyway, man, like I said, hit me up. It's your man, Wayne Train. I'm out.